So looking at private limited companies, also known as LTDs now, as part of business ownership, and these are limited liability business organizations. So limited liability is where the owners are legally separate from the business, and therefore the assets of each are separate. And so they can only lose up to the value of what's been invested. They cannot lose their personal possessions, such as the car, the house, um, to be to pay off the debts of the business. So private limited company, LTD, it just means owned by shareholders. The shares cannot though be publicly advertised. So we, we normally say they can only be sold to friends and family. You don't have to be best friends to, to be able to buy shares in the business. When you're looking at it, when you're watching the Dragon's Den, all of those businesses are LTDs. They're not, you know, friendly. They don't know the dragons before they go in there. So you don't have to be best friends. And they have limited liability, which is a big advantage because this reduces the, the risk of um, buying shares in one of these or setting up one of these types of businesses. You're not going to lose your personal assets. Dividends, another definition. This is when profits are distributed to the shareholders, just a special term that we use. So advantages and disadvantages of choosing um to be an LTD. You can see here that on the left hand side, I've included the advantages and disadvantages of partnership. It's because in longer essay questions, you often have to compare uh, the, these two. So it might be a partnership that has been set up and has been running for a few years. And then the question's asking you, should they change to being a private limited company? So the big benefit of a partnership is they get that limited liability, their assets, their personal assets, I mean, are no longer at risk. And you can sell shares to raise capital, but only to friends and family, which is gonna be different to a PLC, public limited company that we'll learn about in another video. And the shareholders, the people that have invested into this business, it's likely that they're still running the business and quite highly, heavily involved in the business. One of the disadvantages of a PLC is where you get many, many shareholders and they're not involved with running the business is you get this divorce of ownership and control. So the people running the business, the managers and not the shareholders. And you might get things happening that the shareholders really want you to focus on profit maximization. The managers maybe just want an easy life and want to, you know, kick back and relax a little bit. So you get this problem of divorce and ownership control, but you shouldn't get that with an LTD because the majority shareholders should still be involved in running the business. They might be the managing director. However, you do have to publish your accounts. You can access these accounts online. Competitors can access those accounts and you have to publish them as well. So you're gonna to need to um, have an accountant helping you um, create those accounts. You do have to get them audited as well and checked. So that's an extra cost. Um, it is expensive to set up. So you, you're going to need, it's a legal process to set it up. You're going to need solicitors helping you with that process. And um, the capital, although you can get more capital money invested into your business, it is limited because the shares can't be sold on the stock market. So let's have a look at an example of a very simple passport question. Normally the passport questions are more like eight marks because it'd be an essay. But here's a nice one about which two are most likely to have limited liability. Well, we know LTDs have limited liability. A green grocer, this is likely to be a sole trader that has unlimited. We've got an accountant here. It looks like it's a partnership to me, quick and right. So that's going to have unlimited liability. And then we've got a PLC here, which we're going to learn in uh, another video, um, means public limited company. And they also have limited liability.